In this video, I'm going to give my review and recommendation on CS498 Cloud Computing Applications, a course offered in the Illinois MCS program. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student. And on this channel, I give my experiences with online learning and my professional growth as a software developer. Today, I'm going to give an overview of CS498 Cloud Computing Applications, and I'm going to give my personal opinions on it. So what's covered in the course? Unlike CS425, where you learn the nitty gritty, low level details of cloud computing and distributed systems, in CS498, you dive into the practical side of the off the shelf cloud applications and marketplace, and then you learn how to apply them to real world problems. At the start of the class, you'll touch briefly on the economics of cloud computing and the concept of big data. Next, you'll learn about the various levels of cloud services like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, and then more. Once the basics are covered, you will start diving directly into applying AWS services like EC2, S3, Lambda, API Gateway, and Lex to solve application specifications using the cloud. A ton of data gets pushed and processed to the cloud every second, so you'll need to learn about the available cloud storage options like Aurora, HBase, and Redis. To round out the course, you'll learn how to leverage stream processing tools like Storm and Spark. Okay, so what's the time commitment of CS498? Well, the class is a death by a thousand paper cuts. There's not only one component that is overly time consuming, it's when you add up everything that it becomes a lot to handle. It's like every Coursera and MCS class, you have weekly lectures and content quizzes, but this class has by far the most and the lengthiest lectures out of any course I've taken so far in the program. Expect to spend four to five hours each week watching lectures. Next up, get this, you have 12 12 programming assignments in this class. The grade only takes the top 11, so if you want, you can skip one of them and you only have to do 11 of them. These programming assignments are gonna spend a majority of your time on the course. The first handful are quite easy and only take a couple hours, but as the course starts to ramp up, expect to spend at least 10 hours on each of them, especially if you're new to cloud computing tools. Next, there are two proctored exams, a midterm and a final. They're quite short, but you're gonna to have to allocate some time to study for them, probably five to 10 hours, I would say. So what did I like about the course? Well, I like that the course was heavily geared towards the programming assignments and getting your hands there with AWS, Docker, and other cloud processing tools. I love to learn by doing, and there's absolutely no shortage of that in this class. And another great thing that they did in this class was give the option of submitting the programming assignments in either Java or Python. I was very happy I could dodge Java in favor of Python. I appreciate that they released the assignments well in advance so you could work out in front of the deadlines and give yourself some buffer to breathe. Some courses you have to follow stricter deadlines and that can get very stressful. I was typically able to stay a week or two in front of the deadlines. Okay, so what didn't I like about the course? Well, I know I just gave three things that I liked about the programming assignments, but it always wasn't rays of sunshine. So in the programming assignments, you're gonna spend hours just trying to decipher what the instructions are and what you need to do. And then finally, when you have something to submit, you're gonna spend another couple hours trying to decipher and debug where you went wrong and understand what the auto grader output was telling you. Just a little bit more refinement on the instructions and auto grader output in this course would go a long, long way. Just the sheer length and volume of the lectures in the course was a little too much for my liking. Even on 1.75 time speed, it was still a chore. I think most courses have about two to three hours of lectures a week, and this course is more in the three to four hour time frame. If they could shave off just a little bit, I think it'd make the course a little bit more digestible. Okay, so are my ratings and final thoughts on CS498. So first up, we got the difficulty rating, with one being brain dead easy and 10 being almost impossible to complete. CS498 isn't difficult because the content is hard to consume. It's mostly because you get thrown in the fire and are expected to come out the other side and learn a lot of things about your own. That's the reason why I would give this course a seven out of 10 difficulty rating. Next, we got the grading rating, with one being absolutely punishing and 10 being almost a guaranteed A. Well, everything in this class has unlimited attempts except those two exams, but a majority of your weight is going to be on those program assignments and quizzes. But for that reason, I give it an 8 out of 10 grade rating. Next, we got the time commitment rating, with one being you're going to have absolutely zero free time outside of this course, and 10 you're going to have free time for weeks on end. In CS498, you're gonna have a ton of deliverables and a lot of things to keep track of. Almost every week you're gonna have something you need to do. The only redeem in quality of the course is that they put things out so far in advance that you can actually work your way in front of the class. 
So for that reason, I give it a seven out of 10 score. So last rating is the usability or utility score with one being why would anyone ever want to learn this to 10 being immediately applicable to your job or into a career skill in the marketplace. Well, cloud computing is in very high demand right now and I think will be for a while. So this is highest utility score I've given out of any class so far, 10 out of 10. So my recommendation is if you're remotely interested in cloud computing or you just enjoyed building solutions with new technologies, then you should take this class. If you're interested in learning more about the Illinois MCS program, please check out my short playlist on my course reviews. I'll see you in there.